Another day, another dollar. So we still gotta transfer some small little things from this motor to the other one, which is the ground right here. This hose right here. This cooling hose also. Um, probably all these brackets that hold the wire harness. This, this, there's two right there, which go on the intake manifold. Um, and then, where the shifting cables connect or are being held so this bracket right here we're gonna take this one also also with this one because this bolt goes right there on the wire harness um so and probably all these brackets for the engine mounts and transmissions um and also that right there uh, the support for the axle so yeah that's what I'm gonna do real quick so there we removed everything that we think we need from this motor already hoses or a dipstick yeah, hey. Uh, now let's put it on the 2ZZ, connect this wire harness. We'll mess with the wire harness last. So time to put on all the stuff on the 2ZZ. Mark is doing the oil dipstick. Uh, so got dipstick injectors, dipstick we got pulleys, we got little clips for the harness. We do have to block out this one right here, the small one. Um, and yeah, uh, start putting all the brackets on the transmission on the 660 also, um, which Mark should have them down there somewhere. Yeah, I put all the brackets and down there. And then the hoses also, those, and then wire harness. Yay, fun. <laughs> some of the wire harness already put together um this doesn't line up so we got to get it from the 2zz um right now i'm going to put the alternator and the pulley for the power steering where the power steering is supposed to be mario's going to get the wire harness that we need um because we're not going to use that one he has a separate one outside that we sorry um out and about um so yeah, we're gonna do that. Hook up the rest of the wire harness on this side, then on that side. And injectors are already on here with the fuel rail from the 2ZZ. Um, that's about it. So I gotta take out the intake manifold because I got a cap. This line right here and this one right here. This one's easy, but this one's gonna be a pain in the ass because I have to take out the intake manifold. So that's what I'm gonna do and then mess with the wire harness over here real quick. By the time Mark should here be here with the new wire harness or the 2ZZ one so we could take these two sensors off of it for the lift, that one. And this one, which is one of them is a two wire and another one's a one wire. So it's three wires in total that we gotta take off from the other wire harness. And of course this. So 
now we're gonna swap out the pins we need to switch the polarity on this um when you plug it in is these bottom two which is gonna be that blue with red and that brown so just the bottom two just in case the colors are not the same um and when you plug it in is these two bottom ones right there the one in the bottom and the one in the middle um so whoever's it, watching this video you're welcome you're welcome because nowhere you look they don't show you this shit. yeah uh, we spent hours to find this out the reason being is because the throttle position sense uh throttle body on this one is opposite so you got that's why you got to reverse the polarity um also on the mrs you do have to reroute the throttle positions uh wire because it actually comes this way and now you want it to come this way so yeah i'll show you guys that when we get up there i'm um, just trying to finish Pull up this, this right now easy that's easy that's the easy part uh removing the pins pretty sure you can find it online So everything's already plugged in except for this. I don't need it. Um, it's not. Uh, I haven't put the bolt on it because I do need it to come up a little bit to put those shifting cables in there. So I'll do that once the shifting cables are in. Son uh, of a bitch. What? I'm already missing on this one. My right here. There it is. Oh, I got two parts Now we're gonna take off the this one right here we're gonna take off this one right here oh, which is the oil pressure OBC. i believe and then this black one right here i believe this one so these two wires are coming off so we ended up finding the plug and it's supposed to be c um six and seven which are these two right here and i believe it's c what 20 21 uh, it should be this gray one right here let me see huh? um, um i'll put a diagram on how to read this um it's also called um e this plug is called e4 on toyota but we call them c's i don't know why or the forums does so c or e4 i believe After a couple of minutes, we already have the wires already out. We and just they're still not long enough. I don't think so. Really, bro? They're gonna go on this side of the car and go all the way inside to the ECU. Ah, uh, whatever. There's a reason why MWR kit is fucking like 16 inches long, not two feet. 16 inches. 60. 60. 60. All right. So I just gotta unpin it from here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and mark it up um, which one is which one and that way it doesn't get confusing when we put it on yeah but you still gotta unpin a lot of wires over there move wires around put this pin over there motor's ready to pull in uh, mark is doing the last touches on that wire harness that we just did i mean you could just like fucking run it like tape it but i prefer to go professional run actually tuck it in the stock loom so it makes it look a little neater so we added this sensor for this plug and that plug over here um for the oil pressure and for the ovc of the lift yeah so lift later on we're gonna start pinning it down which that's gonna be fun too the fun part begins right now as long as we drop this motor tonight i'm happy no we're doing all tonight 
Watch, guys, watch. No, I don't want to do it. There's no light.